I must deal with it extensively to my own uh, level of understanding and knowledge. Therefore, I need your own input. I need you to create your own impact because internet never forgets. Whatever you say, whatever you have, you have bring into this program today is going to go a very long way. Therefore, I want you to prepare yourself to call when I will open my line. I don't know how long uh, I'm going to spend, but I tell you, I'm going to be very, very swift in my analysis in regards to the things I want to discuss today. There is something I want us to, I want to remind each and every one of us today. Very, very important that we know this. You see, we, the freedom fighters, are doing a great job, but we are not much appreciated by our people. The freedom fighters, especially of Igbo extraction, who are in the forefront fighting for the restoration of our nation, have been doing great. We've been doing great, but we are not much appreciated. The reason why we are not much appreciated is because a black man does not does not appreciate freedom, freedom fighters. No, they appreciate they like freedom, but they don't appreciate freedom fighters. The reason why I'm telling you this is because. I sat down to study the way black men appreciate freedom fighters. Then I studied the way white people appreciate freedom fighters. Then I came to realize that black people do not appreciate those who are fighting for their freedom compared to the white people, how they appreciate their own freedom fighters. And because of this, so many people have been deceived. So many people have been deceived. And because of that, we thank Chukwu Kikabiyama for giving us somebody like Mazin Namdekano, who came at the time that he was needed. Who came at the time that someone like him is highly needed in Igbo land. Sometimes I begin to wonder, to think, to ask myself questions. If someone like Mazin Namdekano is not there, whom would have speak for us? Whom would have stand up for us? Whom would have come out to take the bull by the horn? That is the question I'm asking myself. And even when he started, a lot of our people did not appreciate him. A lot of our people hated him. And we that are following Mazen Namdekan to fight for this cause, most of our brothers are not appreciating us. They don't care about these people that are fighting this battle while we are out there doing our normal thing. We are not, our life is not in danger, but these guys are in front line taking bullets. What if these people that are fighting for us did not fight and all of us go out there looking for something to eat and then the enemy comes to our land and sweep off our existence? How is, how is it going to be? This is a question that some of you that are watching this program will begin to ask yourself by the time I'm done with what I have in package tonight. If you look at your time from your location, from Biafra land, this, it is 5.45 p.m. Biafra time. 5.45 p.m. That is to say, you remain 15 minutes for 6 o'clock to be on dot. Now, I want you to do one thing for me. Touch the share button. Don't be afraid that when you touch the share button that I'm going to make money from the brokers. No, don't be afraid. I know some of you are afraid. If you touch the share button, share, 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 at the end of the month, I will, be, I will get paid. No, I'm not getting paid for your, from your share button. What I'm getting from your share button is that you are helping to, 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 to spread the, the good news, the message that our people may listen and know what is right to do. Freedom fighting is not a choice play. Life is at stake. Blood is at stake. Properties is at stake. So those that are doing the fight, those that are in front line showing their faces, doing the needful for everybody, do not forget that these people are doing it for everybody, including you that your life is not, you feel that your life is not in danger, but you are the, we are the most person that your life should be in danger. Because you make money 
from abroad, you come back to the village, you want to go to your, to, 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 uh, to go to your, to your village to build a house. You are afraid of, of insecurity. You are afraid that you may be kidnapped. The reason why you're afraid is because there is no good security put in place in your community, in your village, in your local government, in your state. Simply because we are still under one contraption they call a country. Because when Biafra is restored, there is not going to be any policeman from Kaduna that will come to Okija to be a police uh, uh, commissioner or to be a, 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 a DPO or area commander. It's not going to happen. It has to be Onyo Kija. And you can imagine when Onyo Kija is, see, is, is overseeing the affair of security in Okija. Can the enemy penetrate? No. Let me give you an example. If you are from Okija and you are listening, make calls and confirm what I'm about to say now. I just want to use this to build my preamble before I go into the big issue that you see on the screen. In Okija, 30 villages. Okija is made up of 30 villages. That is why they call them Okija Ohuebe Niri. Okija, powerful men and women living abroad and home, put money together to set up a very solid standard security in Okija. People like Obi Jackson. Yes, people like Dozi. People like Onka family. People like, uh, 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 what do you call him? Um, um, uh, um, what do you call him? Ofia Nokija, Ofia Fulo, Ofia Fulego Nokija. A lot of them, when can go to the Okija pioneers came out. They bought about, I think, 30 trucks, not tr uh, helos, and brought serious amount of money to equip each village has security that is mounted in every village every village in okija is secure there is nowhere an enemy can penetrate okija to steal and run away go to okija today or make a call to confirm what i'm saying in whole anambra state okija has the highest and the best security outfit because Okija indigenous brought out money. They bought them gun, they bought them healers, they bought them gadgets, they bought them every equipment. And it is Okija people that are heading those security men. You can imagine when I am a security man in my own village. You can imagine when you are a security man in your own village. I will know every bad person or every enemy that came into the village or that is paraded in the, within the village. If there is any problem at all. Once I am called upon, I know where to go. If the person is running away, I know where to wait for them. I want to use Okija as a case study to tell you that is watching this program, that is not supporting this movement, that is against Mazen Namdekano, that is against IPOB for fighting for the liberation of our, of our country, to see the reason why you must support. You must not be a member of IPOB to support IPOB. A member, I mean, is the, 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 the organization, the, the, the group that are fighting. But by bet, you are an IPOB, indigenous person of Biafra. That is who you are. Now, you are a businessman. You have shops in Ariariaba. You have shops in Otunko. You have shops in Nkwonewu. You have shops in a in a in a obo tenugu you have shops in obogologo asaba you have shops all over places but you cannot do that your business without stress there must be stress because you don't have the nearest seaport where you can bring those your goods and sell at a good a good price you cannot it's impossible it is practically impossible for you to sell, to import your goods and sell it in a good price and in good faith without stress. Because the enemies of Ndibo, the enemies of Biafra, do not want you to do that. They do not want you to develop your areas. They do not want you to succeed. That is why they block all the seaports in Biafra land. 
That is why they do not want you to benefit from the national, the, uh, uh, national uh, 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 project that is ongoing. That is why they are building nationwide railway instead of connecting those nationwide railway to Enugu, from Enugu to Anambra, from Anambra to Aba, from Aba to Imo, from Imo to Ugocha. They build, instead of building it to your community, building it to your state, they channel it to Niger, where they are hiding your money. Where they build refineries, they are taking your crude oil and refining it there and bringing it, selling it to you at high, high cost. So that development that you are expecting will not come. And you think because you are not among the people who are fighting or talking about Biafra that you are safe, you are not safe. That is why when you import your goods in Lagos, you will use 1 million naira to import 40 feet container. The, pay, the payment, you, the, the amount of money you pay for the clearance of the container is 1 million. But to take it from Lagos to Aba, you will spend 1.5 million. Imagine if you spend only that 1 million and that container come directly to the nearest seaport where you can use like 100,000 or 50,000 to take those containers to your location. You don't think like that because of Basarogi. Now, pay attention. Nigeria wasn't designed to favor an Igbo man. Nigeria wasn't designed to favor anybody from the old eastern region. No. The reason is because during the time of the British colonial masters in this contraption. They did, stu they studied the people that they are ruling over. They did brain check. They come down and monitor everybody, every region. They saw greatness from the East. They saw intelligentials from the East. They saw industrious creatures from the east they saw people that we are blessed even by the virtue of names they bear someone like me i am highly blessed my name is chuku became god is my strength that is why no matter what the plan of the enemy against me will not work because god is my strength that is why we have okay chuku that is why we have okay chuku that is why every name we be we be is even testifying that we are Great, because it has to do with connect with God, the creator of heaven and earth. So what I'm trying to say is this. These people who doesn't appreciate freedom fighters, they are not doing it because they don't like to be free. Everybody likes freedom. An average woman likes freedom. But they are doing it because they are afraid. They don't want to associate themselves and they don't want to appreciate them because they are afraid. They are afraid of death. They don't want to be killed. You are afraid of death. But in your community where you come from, the enemies come to your community and they kill your people, kidnap your father, kidnap your mother, and you run away from your community. Now you are doing marriage, traditional marriage in, in Lagos. You are doing traditional marriage in Kami. You are doing tradition, the traditional marriage in a do state. But you don't want to associate with those who want to fight to make sure that we get our own nation restored. But the, 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 the problem that they are fighting to eliminate from your land is facing you, taking, you know, taking lives from your community. That is what is happening. I remember when we started this, this movement, when I joined Mazenam the Kano 11 years ago in this movement. I remember that whenever we talk about Biafra, a lot of Ndibo will come out and say, nah, crown up Biafra, nah, forever. don't talk about that Biafra. We don't want Biafra. We, we want to stay in one Nigeria. Eh? We keep talking about it. And some of you, we are calling Mazenam the Kano Nyoshi, Mazenam Kano Nyara. But what happened? Did the Mazenan can stop? No. Did we stop? No. Now, all of you are seeing the reason why Mazenan can want Biafra. That is the reason why anything that happened in Nigeria, 
you are the people that are bearing the brunt. If there is any protest in Nigeria, you must bear the brunt. Biafra bear the brunt. If there is any uprising in Nigeria, they put it on Ibo. Just as they started the lies of Ibo's Ibo Q, Ibo Q, Ibo Q, Ibo Q. The Q that was committed by Hausa was there. Yoruba was there. Ibo was there. Ijo was there. Ishikiri was there. Anang was there. All the whole military people were there. But because an Ibo man headed it, they attacked it, Ibo Q. And since then, everything that happened, the, as long as it has to affect the country to change the system, the status quo, they will place it on Ibos. And they are killing you for that. What about when something is, when, when, when the white people create something or, 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 or draw the map of Muhammad in far away the map? Is it not our people, the Christians in Ibos in the north that they used to kill, that stays in the north that they used to kill? That is it. They go from one shop to another, killing and burning your shop, burning your shop and killing you people. Is there anything happening? Is there anybody speaking? No. These people have reduced all your kings, reduced all your so-called elder state men to beggars. That is why they are no longer afraid to open mouth and attack Igbo people with, with full force, without any repelling, without anybody fighting back. They started by, by implanting uh, 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 people who cannot speak for you as your chiefs, as your kings, as your igwes in your communities. It was a well-orchestrated plan to destabilize our land. A well-orchestrated plan to destabilize our land. That is why anytime you see any king that the, in the state government is paying, know you that that king is not, is not king indeed. Any Igwe that is, that is receiving salary from state government, that is being given certificate of Igwe ship or certificate of Eze ship, that Eze is not Eze ship. It's not a real Eze. It's not. Do you know why? They must be doing the bidding of those that put them there. They must be doing the bidding of those that put them there. I will prove a lot to you that doesn't support this movement. I will prove a lot to you that doesn't like Mazen Namdekano. I will prove a lot to you that says, hey, we don't want Biafra this night. I will prove it to you with fact and figures that you may go back, recycle your brain once again, do your plus and minus, Ask yourself, what this guy is saying, is it true? How is me, how is me still being in Nigeria affecting me? Is it affecting me negatively or positively? What are the things that I deserve as a person? Am I getting it? Is things working fine for me? Is my family actually saved? Is it true that we are going to Lagos and other places to be doing a traditional marriage? Our traditional marriage should be carried down out in our own, in our own land. It is called Igbo tradition, marriage. You are supposed to marry, you are the, the traditional uh, right supposed to be taken in your own village. Look at uh, David O. A young wealthy musician came to marry from Igbo state, but the marriage was done in Lagos. And you say it doesn't concern you, don't want your freedom. And some of you, the mistake some of you are doing is that you people are saying it's because his Mazen and Khan started doing Biafra. That is why Igbo land is scattered. What you would, we would have gotten would have been worse times, times 500 times compared to what you are seeing now. Iyun Akafu got it 500 times worse than Ihe for now. In case you don't know, I must let you know. And somebody will die Instead of doing the barrier in their community, they take it to another place to do the barrier. Some people living abroad are even writing their will alive that if they die, they should bury them abroad. Do you know the impact of burying someone in their ancestral land? You will come back to that your ancestral land. But once you are buried abroad, one day you have missed your, 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 your race. 
Because some of you doesn't believe Namad Nabi was. Now, let me tell you something. The problem that our people are facing is numerous. I cannot finish them today. I cannot count them finished today. Now, I want to, having established this foundation, I want to talk about Mazin Namikano freedom. I want to talk about Nigeria politics. I want to talk about Biafra. And I want to talk about protest in Nigeria. If you watch out what is happening right now in Nigeria, you will notice that everywhere is shaking. There is panic everywhere. Why is there panic everywhere? There is panic everywhere because the youth of Nigeria are tired of suffering. Because the youth of Nigeria are tired of dying for hunger and starvation. There is tension in Nigeria because the youth of Nigeria are, are, are gnashing their teeth. The high cost of things is getting worse. The rich are getting richer while the poor are getting poorer. This is the reason for this protest that is being proposed. But I want you to pay attention to what I'm going to say. Because at the end of the day, you have, to be, you have to agree with me in some certain things that I want to say here. You say, most, you have to agree with me. Now, if indeed Nigeria is one, there is no reason, I repeat, there is no reason why any protest against a bad government we fail, not tagged to a certain race. No reason. No reason. Oh, let me let me acknowledge one of my brother, um, Osege Osege Jolly, my brother. You're welcome to the program. I know you. I know you. That is my brother, my friend. We live together in Dubai. Thank you. I don't acknowledge people like this on my platform, but. You are a good man. That is why I do. Okay? So welcome. To Salomuzia. So now pay attention. You see, if the government of Nigeria is working, if the government of Nigeria is good, if the government of Nigeria is fair, if I grew if I if if I am growing up and I saw I saw that I can have access to medical care. I can have access to free medical care. I can have access to, you know, to study without paying high cost uh, as, as school fees. If, I, if I'm growing up, I see steady power supply. I see tap bone water. I see good roads. Mazenan can, cannot convince me to come and join him fighting for Biafra. He cannot. Mazenan can, cannot. In, in the next one million years, he cannot. Because if he's telling me that we should divide, we should go out of Nigeria. I will begin to ask, why? I have steady power supply. I have good roads. I have share fair, uh, fair share in the, in the government. I have uh, uh, good hospitals. Every, there is seaport working in my backyard. So what am I dividing the country for? I wouldn't listen to him. And I know that so many of you that are watching me right now we agree with me on this. If you disagree on, with me on this, you can put it on, on, on comment section. If you agree with, with me on this, you can put it on comment section. So that those who we are talking to, those who are listening to us may know that we know what we are doing. Yes. So, because I didn't see all these things, because I was growing up as a young man, in fact, the biggest, the, the, the worst thing that happened to me as a as a someone who were, who was born in this contraption was in 2000 and uh, 2001 to 2002 when i bought things in dubai 2002 actually i bought things in dubai put it in the container to bring it to nigeria it is called groupage then in that group page, you have like seven or eight or nine or ten people buying different different items, putting them in a container, ship them. When the container arrives, 
they will count the, the number, they will count the, the lines of the container according to whatever you bought, occupied. You will pay, I will pay, everybody will pay, will bring out the container. But there's a major consignee. The consignee is someone who, for example, in 40 feet container, you have, if you count those lines you see on container, it is 43 lines. I am into shipment. I know what I'm talking about. So if the person that has the highest line, whose goods contain more in that container, that is whom they are going to give major consignee in that container. That person's name is whom they are going to use to bring that container out. But it is a groupage. Now, because one person bought what Nigeria is not producing, one person bought what Obasanjo tagged as contraband, which is furniture, and put into that container. Nigeria government sees that container and tag it contraband. And the first money that I made as someone who went abroad to fight for my greener pasture vanished overnight. Hello? Are you listening to me? I repeat, the reason, the first shock that I had as a Nigeria where I was growing up when I have grown up already, when I travel abroad, was that my goods was seized. It was among the goods that were seized because somebody bought the furniture and put it inside that container. And the moment it arrives Lagos, the, 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 the customs, they will look at the paper and say, oh, this is a uh, Igbo man. Maybe the person's name is, is uh, Chuku Jeku. And there's Jeku that is watching me. Jeku, you're not the one I'm talking about, but I'm giving an example. Maybe the person's name is Chuku Jeku or Chuku Uma. That container must be hundred percent examined. Some people say no volume, no volume, no volume. How are you saying no volume? I can, I'm speaking louder here. People say no volume. I don't understand why no volume. I don't understand why you say no volume. Why is there no volume? Can somebody confirm to me if you can hear me loud and clear, please? Because some people are saying no volume. Maybe it's from their if it's from their phone. Somebody can should confirm to me that. That they can hear me. It's okay. Ah, Biafra man says it's okay. Okay, Karago says it's very low. Some people say it's very low. Okay, my brother, I don't know what to do. This is maybe Facebook is fighting. Uh, they are already fighting against me on this platform. I know. So, but let me uh, let me increase my voice a little bit. So, uh, Jude, uh, Jude, uh, Jude, Matthew say is very clear. Now. I, from that moment, I despised being in Nigeria. From that moment, I hated the word Nigeria because the, the name of the person, the major consignee in the, in the container is Onyibo. Then they went on 100%, I repeat, 100% examination on that container. And they found out that somebody bought how many? Only 50 pieces of furniture. 50 pieces of furniture. Some people say it's very clear. Some people say it's not. But let me continue like this. So 50 pieces of furniture is the reason why you, you see goods that is worth over 12 to 13 or 14 million as a day. And we all of us lost our money, lost everything. Some people might have borrowed money to, you know, buy those goods. This was my first problem I had with this country. And I cried like a baby. I cried like a, like a newborn baby because my hope was to raise capital from that, those goods. If those goods did go to Nigeria, I will, you know, sell it, use the money to, you know, buy another one. Before you know it, I will grow up my business. But it was seized by the Obasanjo government. Why was it seized? Because of only 50 pieces of what Nigeria is not producing that someone was importing. I thought when Obasanjo placed contraband on toothpick, on matches, on this and that, that by now, you know when Obasanjo left power, I believe by now, Nigeria would have been exporting matches. I thought by now, Nigeria would have been exporting uh, 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 furniture. I thought by now, Nigeria would have been exporting uh, all those things that they banned. But it was targeted on Ibos. Let me be saying it for your hearing. It was that, that contraband item was targeted on Indibo. Because Ndibu are the highest people that are into commerce. We are the highest people that, into, that are into trade, into business. We are the highest people that are into importation. Having stopped our seaport from functioning, they, st they also stopped 
away from bringing goods into the, into the country. Do you know how many thousands and how many how many thousands of Igbos that their containers were seized because of that declaration of contraband item by Obasanjo? It affected me that is talking to you right now. It affected me. And it affected so many people. Do you know how many billions that some people, our Igbo brothers lost in that scale? It's uncountable. Now pay attention. If you don't understand why you should support this movement, why listening to me, ask yourself this question. Why is it that we have deep sea across Biafra land, but your brothers who are businessmen are going to Lagos to, I mean, clear their goods? Why? Ask yourself this question. Or give it better. I need you when Mary do me me. No go on a better. Man, I am going to get it in a book. Then why I? Nabani, maneba na babu tiabu no bende ndo fem mano. Do you know that the kind of money that Nigeria Port Authority is generating from Igbo traders in Lagos alone is in ton of trillions every month. Lagos state government, in conjunction with Nigeria Port Authority in Lagos, are generating trillions from Igbo businessmen. Imagine if our seaports are functional. Imagine if our goods are coming to our, our terrain. Those money that we are paying in those places will be going to the states that have those seaports. The cost of clearing our goods will at least will come down. And the cost of goods that we are bringing will not be high because we are not paying high to clear them. You clear goods in Lagos, 1 million, you use 1.5 million to use trailer to bring it to Biafra. And along the line, while bringing in the trailer, with, in so many cases, it will fail on the road because bad road, the road is not good. Many people borrowed money from bank to do business, but because of bad road, because of lack of all these, all these facilities we need in our land, they lost those money in, 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 in accidents. And so many of them, of them die off of heart attack. Now let me give you another example because anytime I'm talking, I use myself as an example. I have a friend from Okija called St. Joel and Jewels. St. Joel and Jewels is the owner of Miracle Transport. If you live in Port Harcourt, if you live in Owere, if you live in, in Aba, if you live in Onicha, you will see buses that is, that is written Miracle Transport. That is my childhood friend from Okija. His real name is Joel Iweni. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Do you know why he died? A very young man. Do you know why Joel Iweni died? Joel Iweni died because of heart attack. Because his goose caught fire in a 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 warehouse. Who put the fire? And the west the warehouse I'm talking about is located in Lagos. Somebody went and light. The guy brought on, brought in all the goods that he need to sell. Because he used to bring up to 50, 60 containers of goods. If you're in Mandela, you will know who I'm talking about. St. Joseph, St. Joseph and Joel. Mbwafia Bata, the moment they offload all those goods into the, into the warehouse, the next day, my brother was on, my friend was on his way, I will call him my brother anyway, on his way to China again. At the airport, they called him Oga Oga. Your warehouse is on fire. This is an evil man, a young man growing. The goose caught fire. Ndo Akijana Gemonte knows who I'm talking about. His senior brother is called War, Holy War, Ibueli. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And this guy, had, he knew how much he had invested, he knew how much that has got burned. Joel Iweri collapsed instantly at the airport. Rushing him to the hospital, that is how Joel Iweri died. My own bosom friend. We went to the same secondary school. We played together. We grew together. Nigeria happened to him. 
There are other warehouses around him where Yoruba people are, doing, are, are, are stocking their own goods. Why those ones didn't catch fire? Why didn't their own warehouse catch fire? Why is it only that jewels uh, uh, warehouse that caught fire? This is what is happening to us. Do you know how many people that have lost billions in Oluwale? Do you know how many more people that have lost, lost billions in Mandela's? Do you know how many more people have that have lost billions in Aspanda? In, in Larimo? In Computer Village? Do you know? You do not know. I'm not sure you have idea of what I'm talking about. If you know the number of people that some of them just die out of heart attack because of the money they have borrowed from bank. Some of them use their life investment to borrow money to do business to turn up. Then along the line, because of you were hated. Pia. Do you know how many people that have lost billions in Mandela's? Do you know how many people that have lost If you don't have heart to withstand it, you have you, you develop uh, blood pressure, then you die. And life continues. Other people continue. Are you telling me that if we build our communities, if we build our villages, if we build our towns, if we develop our states and have international markets and have working seaports and working international airports, cargo airports, and we are securing our 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 our, our villages, our communities, where these our businesses are going to be planted in on. Are you telling me that we are going to face that those kind of uh, of 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 uh, of, uh, of uh, fire bombs or attack? No, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen here. How many times did you hear that warehouses in Dubai got burnt? I have lived in United Arab Emirates. One of the person that I live with is here watching me live. Osegi. I have gone to the place they call Omakwe. I have gone to the place they call Fujaira. I have gone to the place they call Shaja. If you go to Shaja, you will see warehouse that it will be like, from example, from my two, to Oshodi, warehouse throughout. I never hear one day that their warehouse caught fire. I have not heard of that. I never hear them. But because Igbo people are into business, Unubunatangwafia, Ndanyofu, you will start afresh again. All in a bid to stop you from progressing. All in a bid to stop it on your progress. All in a bid to make you look less. So if you are listening to me, pay attention. Now, this protest that the people of the youth of Nigeria say they want to protest is because all these things I'm mentioning now is already affecting them. But in our own side, it is worst. What is happening to a northern man or a Yoruba man today is about the The high cost of edible things is skyrocketing. The high cost of edible is skyrocketing. Do you know why? Now let me open your eye once again. The reason is because they planted Boko Haram. You remember that before you used to hear that a Benue State is food basket of the nation. Hello? Is Benue State still the food basket of the nation? No. Gone are the days when I used to hear Jiboko, Jiboko. If, you, if they bring one tuba of yam from Boko, if you see the size, some of them be like human beings. They implanted Boko Haram. Why Boko Haram is busy killing you, chasing you away from your farmland? They are busy mining California that is found in their land. They use Boko Haram to disperse people, to pursue people, to render everybody useless, to make everybody not to, to, to be farming or you know, you know, looking for what uh, planting what they are going to eat during harvest season. And while you are running for your life, for their, your dear life, they are mining a product called Californium in their own land, which is found there. And mind you, this Californium is being mined secretly. 
This Californium is not added to Nigeria treasury. The money they are making from this Californium is not going to into Nigeria pocket as one of the one of the natural uh, and, 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 and national and national treasury. Just as the oil they are drilling from their backyard is national treasury. It shock you. Okay, now let me use the Californium issue. Now let me tell you, the biggest plan they had was what you're about to see now. Are you not hearing about GMO crops? Are you not hearing about GMO uh, products? Okum na no makere. Acho mu kengi o kuka Facebook biya 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 nyibo mu yanso. O nko ge le jumi bo soya. This GMO crops is one of the reasons in their jewel said this Boko Haram ana achu ni ni mofia so that you can no longer plant your organic food. It's one of the reasons. This GMO crops, if you look at that, that is rejected even in 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 in, in, in Holland, in Spain, in France, in so many countries, they rejected GMO crops. They want you not to continue to to, to cultivate. They want you not to continue to plant your, your goose, to harvest your goose organically and eat organic food and live long. It is a plan. Be getting a plan for a very long time. That is why during the campaign of Emiloko, Emiloko Walunu said that Nigeria has something to give the military once he take, he take over that is going to bring in all, uh, all the whole Nigeria youth, uh, put them into power, um, into, into military, into army. That what they're going to eat is there, Agbado is there, corn is there, maize is there, Agbado corn and maize, like the same thing you know. The corn he is talking about, Abro corn, Unkayo, they are in Atta, all this GMO corn. Obo ni Maroke, Maroga. Oma do you hear? Go and kneel down, hands yourself, hands up, and begin to thank God for the coming of Mazin Namdekano and IPOB. So many of our people have run away from our family. So many of our people have run away from Nigeria because of the system on the ground. Nigeria was not created and designed to, 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 to favor an evil man or to prosper you. It was created for the for the for the for the for the for the betterment of the British Empire. And the, in extension, the, the Northerners. They are benefiting from one Nigeria. We are the one losing. That is why the hunger that is hitting Nigeria youth today have wakened them. The high cost of commodity is hitting them seriously today. Now their, their eyes is open. The same thing that Mazin told them in 2013, 2014 is what they are seeing now. Okay, now, in the same country where people are one, if you want to do protest, Government are not supposed to stop you from protesting. No sin, no normal government can stop you from protesting. Look at Kenya. Look at Kenya. Kenya are one people. That is why you see their protests very successful. They are one indigenous people. They understand themselves. They love themselves. And they are not afraid to die. The only people that are not afraid to die in this contraption are the Igbos. When I say the Igbos, I didn't mean the Igbos in the full to him after the war. I mean the real blooded Igbos. That is why this movement is being championed and headed by an Igbo man called Mazen Namdekano. That is why the first war, the first uh, uh, civil, uh, civil war that took place in this country was headed by an Igbo man called that is why the first abolitionist, the person who abolished slavery in the whole world, was an Igbo man called Olauda Ikuano. That is why the first, the first person that talked about the freedom of Igbo people is an Igbo man. That is the reason why, as it is now, when after the Biafra war was fought and the, everything was calm, they say it is no victor, no vanquish. The war ended. The first person that resonated that that same 
a movement that will give us our freedom is an Igbo man called Wazurike. Are you listening to me? Are you telling me that Yoruba people are not seeing the problem in the country? Are you telling that Jukun people are not seeing the problem of the country? Are you telling that the Gala people are not seeing the problem of the country? Are you telling me that the Ogoni people are not seeing the problem of the, of the country? They are seeing it, but they are all afraid to die. It is an only Igbo man that says, Oblong, I am one. That is why anytime you hear this chant of Uzobu, any by any, Uzobu, any by any, every Igbo man, both a child, both a cripple, will get up and move ahead, ahead. Until Azobu, any be ife. That is the spirit of a true creature of her of Chukwoki Kabiyama, who wants equity, fairness, and justice for everybody. Now, they are preparing for this protest now. But do you know the funniest thing? The funniest thing is that the government of the day are trying to coin it, to divide it, to make it look like Igbo protests, Igbo-led protests. I don't know if you people are understanding what I'm saying. This protest that youth want to do, they want to divide it. They want to call it Igbo protest, just as they called Igbo, they call the, the, the uh, Q, 1967 Q, they call it Igbo Q. Just as they, they tagged uh, NSAS protest, Igbo protest. Now they are planning again to call it Igbo uh, protest. You will see a lot of people coming online saying, why will Igbo say they don't want to join this protest? Igbo must join this protest. Why are they not talking? They must talk. Let me tell you, good luck, Jonathan, that you see the picture. People, the, the, the picture where people were protesting against him. They call him an Igbo man. They call, they say he's an Igbo man. And I believe he's an Igbo man. I believe 100% that Jonathan is an Igbo man. So because Jonathan is an Igbo man ruling the country, there was protests against him. When, when petrol was sold at how much? Now petrol is sold at 850 naira per liter. From filling station, now, now. Some days it will come down to 650 naira. Some days it will climb to 750 naira. But when Jonathan was there, how much was a liter of fuel? Was it not 65, 70 naira? Or was it 68 naira or thereabout? So because of first subsidy, they protested against Jonathan in 2012. Was it 2012? I want to be sure, please. Yes, in 2012. For you to see the hatred and the politics they are playing against Ndebo, they protested against him. The late Muhammad Buhari, the former president of Nigeria, was on the street protesting. Tunde Bakari was on the street protesting. Uh, um, 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 Pastor uh, Adeboye was on the street protesting. Dino Belayi was on the street protesting. These people were protesting against good luck. Let me tell you, they was not. They were not protesting actually against good luck. They were protesting against an evil man. And things was better then. How much was a bag of rice sold when Jonathan was there? How much was a, 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 a cup of gari sold when Jonathan was there? The most painful part of these protests Oh my goodness me, how it's making me funny how John was the one that was protested by our own brother on his pulpit. Reverend Father AGK Caminus Mbaka. That an outside man protested against Jonathan no pay me. That a Yoruba man protested against Jonathan no pay me. Because I knew already that we were hated with passion. The most painful part of that protest was that of Mbaka, where Mbaka was washing his own brother clean on his pulpit, saying that he is a bad luck to Nigeria. 
there's no protest that will be greater than that. The truth is that we have forgiven Mbaka. The truth is that Mbaka have proven to, 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 to have what is called remorse in him for that act. For that devilish act. He regretted it. From his tone, we can see it. And Mazinan can say we should forgive him. No, the matula chair, but which we did. But if anything happened, you have to actually talk about it as a reference to those who doesn't know when it happened and how it happened. Mbaka protested against his own brother. Now I am waiting for Adeboye to protest against his own brother too. Who is Tunubu? I am waiting for uh, what they call him, Olukoya, to protest against his own brother. I am waiting for any Yoruba pastor or reverend. In fact, I'm waiting for any clergyman to come out and you handle the microphone and protest against this government that is times 10 worse than that of good luck, Jonathan. Have you seen any? I have not. Why? Because we, the people from the old eastern region, we overdo things. And some of us are easily bought with money to fight against our own brother out of envy and jealousy. I repeat, out of envy and jealousy. So many of our people will take anything at all to sell their own brother. But guess what happened? If it is P2B that is ruling Nigeria today and a bag of rice rised to 100,000, a penta bucket of beans rise to 12,000, a penta bucket of tomato rise to 10,000, I swear with my life, Every Yoruba pastor, every Hausa imam, every Dick and Harry will come out to protest against Obi. Even though we know that their original plan, why they make people stop farming, is just to make sure that they make everybody hungry, that what, so that whatever they bring to the table, you will take it. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know a hungry man has no choice. But not every hungry man. I may be hungry, but I will refuse to eat that your diet. Because I could have the woman that come on They were busy there calling Jonathan names. They call him Boko Haram. They, call, they were saying Haram IP, Jonathan. If there is no name that Jonathan was not called just to bring him down. Because they were protesting against Iboma. That is why a certain Yoruba pastor came out to say that Ibo has ruled Nigeria for six, for six years. That Jonathan is Ibo. Another Yoruba man came out to say that Ibo has ruled Nigeria for uh, uh, as a military and at the same time ruled rule Ibo as a, as a, as a uh, ruled Nigeria as a, a civilian for uh, eight years. Whom was he referring to? He was referring to Basanjo as an Igbo man. Because there is a story that is online. It's a very, somebody, everybody can see it. That Obasanjo's father happened to be an Igbo man who was a police officer. Who worked in Abiokuta. And when I look at the picture of this man and look at Obasanjo's face, my brother, I swear to my heavenly father, there is, you don't need a DNA to confirm if it is true or not. But it is alleged that the man happened to be Obasanjo's biological father. So they were actually tagging everything that is not working well to Ibos. Do you notice that each time an Igbo man creates 
um, uh, invent a great thing that creates jobs and great impact in the society abroad. When Nigerian newspapers headed by Yorubas want to report it, they will say a Nigeria invented so, 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 and so. When a when an evil person, you know, come out with first class upper results in any of their expertise in the university abroad, when they want to report it, they will say a Nigerian. But the moment they caught any evil man carrying drug, they will say an evil man caught in so 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 place with so 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 amount of drugs. Now on this protest that is proposed to take place on first on is it on first of August or so, either 29th of this month to first of August, is not planned by Igbos. It's not organized by Igbos. But directly and indirectly, they are now diverting attention of everybody, trying to make it an Igbo protest, trying to call P2B out that P2B is the one that is, is organizing it. The news is here. I will read it out for you to hear because the media publicity head of a, of a, uh, of a Labour Party have come to, to cry as usual. These people be a mendi when we rose you. These people be a less and evil. These people be a mezzan diwa. This is a cast no drizzle on your how. Anybody can just wake up and talk about ibos and nothing will happen. Anybody can just come and poke, poke their finger into the an eye of, of every evil person. And don't worry if again, everybody will keep quiet. Do you know why? Because the people that are supposed to talk have been bribed with one contract or the other in Abuja. They have used one contract or another to close their mouth so they can no longer speak. If somebody like Nyamud can come out and tell you that he can sabotage the struggle for Biafra restoration, that he will do it, he will be a saboteur if a single full animal is killed in animal. Do you want me to play you the video? I have it with me in my archive. Nyamud, is he also man? No. Is it a Yoruba man? No. It's an Igbo man. These are the people that are benefiting from the suffering of the people they called Nigerians, especially of Igbo extraction. So they want to tack it now to P2B. They want to say it's P2B who is organizing it. But don't forget that our people have come out to say, we will not protest. We are not interested in the protest. Because we did not vote anybody into power. We did not vote uh, Tinubu into power. Let those that vote into power that are dying of hunger and starvation now go and protest. I watched one clip, one video of a certain guy moving from place to place asking people about the protest. And most of the people he was asking this question are Igbos. And one Igbo guy said something that shocked me to my bone marrow and as a matter of fact the guy spoke my mind guess what he said the guy said we the Igbos from eastern region known as Biafrans this is how the guy answered are not interested in any protest in Nigeria if a bag of rice is sold for one million naira we the Igbos will buy it and eat it let those that voted for this government go and protest against this government. When he said from Eastern region, the concept Biafra, that is what sweet me the most. That this is a businessman. You own on a shop, yeah? I never interview. The, 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 the fear of acknowledging yourself as Biafra is speedily being deleted from the heart and the mind of our people. Who made it possible? Mazin Nam the Kano and the indigenous people of Biafra. People are beginning to associate themselves and see themselves as Biafrans. Even the content creators 
Right now, as I talk to you, a lot, a lot of content creators, what they do now, when they want to talk about Anibu, they say Biafra land. Because there's no how you can cut us short of who we are. You know why people claim to be Odudua? How some people claim to be Arewa? What stops us from bearing the Biafra that we are? If not because of this struggle, will an Igbo man come out today to uh, and proudly say Chukwu Kikabiyama? How many of you will come out to today and, the, and the attach Mazi to your name, which means Mr.? You are hearing Mazi, Mazi this, Mazi that, Mazi this, Mazi that. You are hearing Chukwu Kikabiyama today. It's because of Mazi Nambikano and Biafra and IPOB. He did not invent it. But he assumed it and spread it into the mindset of every right-thinking Igbo person to acknowledge Chukwu Okike just as Oibo acknowledged him as God. So, back to the topic of the day. If our people can be shot and killed because we protested to free Mahzim Nam If our people can be arrested because we protest to free Mazen Namkan, the only voice that is speaking for us. Then no Igbo person should march any march on the street of any place in Nigeria to protest for bad government. Yes, I said so, and I'm repeating it again. As long as they kill us, they break our bones, they arrested us. They sent us to different prison. They kidnapped us because we came out to say, free our own brother. Nobody should come out to join any protest. Oh. Nobody. Because at the end of the day, it will be tacked Igbo protest. They will say Igbos are protesting against the government of Nigeria. But what the, what the people who want to do this protest are actually doing is to protest against the bad government. You see why I tell you that Nigeria cannot be good? If Nigeria is one indeed, I'm going to be good. Whatever that is happening in this country, everybody will see it as a problem of Nigeria or a success of Nigeria. But once it is bad, a particular tribe will be tagged to it. Once it's good, everybody will be tagged to it. They will say Nigerians. But once it is something that is negative, they will put it to a particular tribe. Are you guys listening to me? Good luck, Jonathan. They protested against him. They protested against uh, Good Luck, Jonathan, in 2012. He's an evil man. And that time everything was okay. That time with 10,000 naira, you can buy your, full, your tank. No matter the kind of car you are using, you will fill up your tank. You will fill up your tank. Because I think fuel was either 65 naira or so. Then, Buhari came and took it to 100 naira. And then, how much was dollar exchange? And how much is dollar exchange rate now? Let me check the current dollar exchange rate and give you updates. I see the hot. My name remember as well as the Chuku Bikem. I go be a friend, come on, I'll be a friend with one in you. Be Malaysia or Kazodia. Dollar as at now that I'm speaking to you on international market is 1580 naira for one dollar against 185 naira during Jonathan. Between 180, 81, 82, 83. During Jonathan. Right now, during uh, um, 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 Emiloko, it is 1,580. It gets to 2,000. Then it, it slides down again. Then it climbs again. It can, it's fluctuating. Why? You have not asked yourself, why is this inflation? Why, is things, why are things getting caught? Why is dollar increasing? Now, let me tell you to the little way I, I knew based on my research. In the capital markets of every country, 
if investors are leaving that country, if investors are not bringing investment into the country, pumping money into the country, instead of pumping money, if they are leaving, taking their company out of the country, then the economy of the country will be affected in the international trade, in their forests. Because what the country is doing right now is printing of Naira. But the value of that Naira is useless in international foreign exchange. I don't know if you understand this. You are not produ pro producing anything. There is lack of produ productivity in the country. You are only consuming. You are only consuming. If all the factories in Nigeria is working, if all the investors in Nigeria that have left to Ghana, left to Benin Republic, left to Togo, and some of them even left to America, back to their country, if they are functional, number one, there will be a massive creation of job. People will be working, earning salary. Then the companies will be paying taxes to the government. And it's going to affect the economy of the country positively because they are producing something that they are selling. Other countries may actually come to be buying. Look at Michael Obara as a case, a case study. When Michael Obara was in charge of Eastern Region, as the premier of Eastern Region, Bata was working. Ulon Nam plantation was work, uh, uh, clay factory was working. Amanachi Aman clay, clay factory was working. Ulon Nam plantation was working. Uh, what Kodi Gidi, Gini Omaya was working. Mecheli was working in Aba. And they are producing, there was productivity. Abri Ali Aba was working with full force. And the people from Cameroon, people from Chad, People from Togo, people from Congo, people from Abidjan, we are coming to Aba to buy the products that we are being produced in Aba. They were bringing money into the country. The high influence of, 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 of business boosted the economy of Eastern region. And Eastern region became the fastest growing economy in the world during the time of Michael Obara in the First Republic. Hello? Are you listening to me? So, right now, because of the bad policy and because an Itim Pataka, Itiboribo, are the people in charge at the helm of affairs. They don't know what is called productivity. They don't know what is called creativity. They don't know what is called invention. They only depend on the oil that they are, mine, they are drilling, sharing the money of oil at every state, uh, at every month. Every state are going to Abuja to go and take money from the oil, from the product of oil, crude oil. No state is actually investing in, 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 in factories to produce things. To give job to their to to to, uh, to to their citizens. No, instead they are only hoping on the oil. Ask yourself: If crude oil dry up in Nigeria today, what is the next source of income for the country? Do you know that palm fruit is the major source of income for Malaysia, which they took from the other land? Are you aware? Mburangu palm fruit, the major source of their income. They are generating trillions upon trillions upon trillions upon trillions upon trillions of dollars from palm fruits. And we, we have it in abundance. I can, I can imagine palm uh, uh, plantations again in Anib. If you, if you have traveled from Lagos to, to East, there is a palm uh, uh, farm Belongs that belongs to Obumdia. Is it Obumdia? Or sorry, Ugunedion. After Bini, once you pass that, that Ubuma River, there's a river 
that accidents used to happen often and all. If you are, if you are going to, to a wreck, once you, you, you pass that river, climb up, look at your right hand. You can drive for like, let me know, like, like 20 minutes or 30 minutes. What you'll be seeing is powerful, 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 all through. Do you know that if that particular land and palm fruit is well managed, that you'll be making billions of money from that particular palm fruit if it's well managed? But most of the times when you pass there, you see bushes we covered even the palm, the, the palm tree because nobody is interested in palm fruit anymore. They are just there for fancy. Nobody is interested in palm fruit. Do you know that in palm fruit, you have a lot of things. Palm fruit is more expensive than crude oil, in case you don't know. Because in a palm tree, you use the, the steam to do something. You use the root to do something, to produce food mats. You use the everything in, 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 in palm fruit is money. Do you know that the, that the, the kernel, when you break the kernel, the chaff, you use it to build road. Do you know that? You don't know. Do you know that Oguraku, Oguraku, the West, that is the fiber they call it or something, they use it to produce something. Do you know that even the average vacuum, the average vacuum, the one, the chaff they, they remove from the apple, they use it to, to, to do something. Are you aware? But they abandon all those things. Everybody is going to Abuja to get money. Yes. Now, the country is sinking. All the companies that have, uh, that have a, a taproot in Nigeria are leaving Nigeria. If you go to the history and see how many companies that have left Nigeria from the time Muhammad Buhari took over till now, you will shout. They close border. They stop importation of things with the plan that they are going to produce. But where is the productivity? Do you have steady power supply? No. So how can you produce? Have you restored all the factories that you closed down? No. You have not. Do you people know about a company called Aswani? Do you know how many thousand people that Aswani employed? I'm asking you now. Is Aswani still producing? Is, are they still functioning? Google Aswani right now and check if they are still producing. It's a foreign company. It's no longer functioning. What about the company in Kanu that produce uh, uh, fabrics? Is this still working? It's not. What about a Jokuta steel mill? Is a Jokuta steel, steel mill functioning? No, it's not functioning. In a Jokuta, where you get raw materials as rock to produce cement and produce many things. Are they one functioning? No. So the country is already going down because of bad governance. Because people who lack wisdom on what to do to boost the economy of the country are at the helm of affairs. But the people that have something upstairs, people that can make use of the land, the empty land in the north to generate funds for the country are kicked out of the government. They are not allowed to rule the country because they are evil. And now that people want to protest that the, 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 the chair people that are handling this country, the handlers are not doing well. They are now trying to blame the person whom they don't want to come in to do something as the person sponsoring the the protests and some people are crying saying why is what are you doing why would you want to tag a Igbo this why would you tag, want to tag Igbo that it is already in their DNA that when they fail to do something good once the people that they, their people they failed come to cry to protest they will tag it to Igbo that is to say that it is only Igbo that can do something positive in Nigeria among all tribes that is to say that it is only Igbo that can actually go to a desert and bring a stream of water in desert. That is actually that Igbo are the only people that can go on top of uh, 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 Atlantic Ocean 
and create an island there, make it inhabitant for, for mankind. Did you people see the video where the current uh, president of Ghana, Nana Akufado, addressed Emmanuel Macron, the president of France? Did you see that video? If you didn't see that video, check it on my platform on Asile Hobby for Television. Check it on Mazi Benjamin Madubugu's platform. You are going to see what Akufado told Macron. It was amazing. Do you know why? Because the preaching of Mazi Namdekan on Radio Biafra, because the educative section of Mazi Namdekan's broadcast on Radio Biafra from 2011, 12, 13, up to 2021, have sinked into the subconscious mind of every African person. And that is the reason why you see in Burkina Faso, their people have stood up to take the bull by the horn and restore their own nation. That is why in Mali, their people have taken the same measure. That is why in Guinea, the people have taken the same measure. That is why in Ghana, the president of Ghana is actually trying to let Emmanuel Macron that we don't want to be, we don't want to, 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 to believe or to rest our shoulder on what Western world can do for us. We don't want to rest our hope on the aid that is coming from International Monitoring uh, Fund, IMF. We don't want to rely on what help that France can give to us. And we want to stop our youth from taking the risk of crossing the Mediterranean Sea, crossing the Sahara Desert, dying all the way, all in the name of going to Europe. Akufado actually reminded Macron that during the Second World War, that Italians were coming to Africa for greener pasture. They ran. Yes, Italians in Italy, Northern Ireland, they were coming to Africa to get something. But today, reverse is the case. They held us down. They underdeveloped our countries. That is why they choose all the people that they want to be in power. That is why they choose whom they want to be, they want to, 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 to represent them. Anybody that stands up to do something good, they kill them. But this generation of, of uh, blacks, I don't want to be calling them Africa because Africa is the name of a Roman general whom they used to deceive us and kill us. Patrice Lumumba stood up to liberate Congo. He was killed, assassinated. Thomas Sankara stood up to liberate his Burkina people. He was assassinated. And the problem is, that my, my, my anger is that they were using their own people to kill them. They were using their own people to kill them. Do you know that Molitara Mohammed meant well for Nigeria? How many, how long did Molitara Mohammed spend in power. They used Dinka, his friend, to kill him. Hello? Are you listening to Adekwa? Molitara Mohammed happened to be the first president of Nigeria that actually indig indigenized all the properties of Nigerians that the white people took over from them. He collected all those factories, all those companies, some of you will think that First Bank of Nigeria PLC actually belongs to Nigerians. <laughs> yes. Some of you will think that Stata Chatham Bank belongs to Nigeria. These are the properties of Nigeria that were taken away from them by Molly Pram Mohammed. He said enough is enough. And they killed him. What about in Ghana? Kwame Nkrumah, they used Katoka to chase Kwame Nkrumah out. They wanted to kill him. 
and Kwame Nkrumah ran away and died in foreign land out of ang agony because Kwame Nkrumah was fighting for Ghana to be good. You know the funniest part? The Katoka, they used against Kwame Nkrumah, his name was used as the international airport. You know, there's, there's a significance of international airport in every country. Once you are going to any country, their nation, their, their international airport, the number one international airport, any name that is named after it is supposed to be signif supposed to signify something positive. Do you know that in the case of Ghana, the man they use as the, the name in that airport is the man that fought against Camp Kwame Nkrumah and chased him away. He betrayed Kwame Nkrumah and they used that airport after the man. Unekaiga go happy beer. Now here. Mazen Namdekano, who have used his brain, used his microphone to wake the spirit of all the sleeping giants in across Africa, was kidnapped in Africa. If I use a cable line, some of you may not understand what I'm saying. Let me be using that word Africa. With time, we we'll get to it and we raise that name. Kidnapped in the South Africa. Now, the country called Kenya, where Mazen Khan was kidnapped, are suffering now. The president that superheaded the kidnap of Mazen Khan under his watch, Mazen Khan was kidnapped, is now crying because his people are now seeing his government as the worst of it all in the history of Kenya. And he is being forced to change a lot of things that is not working well in the country. There is something peculiar about Mazen Namdekano. Nobody touched that man and goes scot free. Nobody goes against that man and remains the same. He was kidnapped in Kenya. Today, Kenya, army and police are firing, firing their bullets, taking the life of their own people to keep the government together. Do you know how many people that have been killed in Kenya because they are protesting against a bad government? And I saw a gentleman from Kenya who happened to be in the government of this president. Is it Luto or whatever they call him? resigned honorably he said i am sorry i have been bribed this government is not doing it right they gave us money they bribed us they used the money that is meant for the for the for the for the for the, for the, for the, for the uh, uh, citizens divide it to buy properties abroad that him himself is going to relinquish whatever he has stolen from the from the Kenya government back to the government. He's going to hand it up that he doesn't want again. And he resigned honorably. If you have not seen the video, go to my platform and check the video. You're going to see it there. I don't want to play it. Because I want to open my line soon so that I'll answer calls. Is there any person in Nigeria, in government of Nigeria, that have come out honorably, confess that they have stolen money be that belongs to the citizens, and uh, that they have seen the pains and the cry of the people of Nigeria for this cause that is, is, is going to resign. Has it happened before? Has it happened before? I'm asking you. It haven't. Such a thing have not happened. If it has happened, tell me that it has happened. It haven't. And I don't think that there's anyone who can, in sincerity, replicate what that man did. So today, the said protest is gearing up. And they are trying to put it on evil people. They are trying to say that it is Ibos, IPOB, that are organizing it. They are trying to say that it is 
uh, P2B that is championing it. And that is why I am using this media to tell you to not join. I repeat, do not join any protest as long as you are an Igbo man. The only protest you can join is for Biafra restoration. Amazon and can freedom. If it is for one Nigeria, it doesn't make sense. Because Nigeria was not created to survive. Even Tinubu knew. Even Awolo knew. Even Am Amadou Bello knew. Tafawa Belawa knew. That is why Awolo will say that Nigeria is a mere geographical expression of the British slave masters. That is what Abu Awolo said. He said that it's a main geographical expression. Even the, the, the paper that was signed by British government says it also that these people are like oil and water. They cannot mix together. It is an experiment to check if they can live together or not. And when they found out that they cannot live together, they now go. They now they now went to the to the to those that cannot bring something to the table and change the course of events, put them at the helm of affairs. Then those that can do something and change that their plan, those that can transform their plan and change it to positivity, they put them under the people who cannot do anything. If you go and check how many years Nigeria have existed as a country now, go and check. Check how many, how many years Nigeria have existed. Then check how many people from the north have ruled Nigeria. Check how many people have ruled Nigeria from the south. Do your plus and your minus. You will see what I mean. The people that have ruled the country in, from the north, are far, 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 far bigger than people that have ruled Nigeria from the south. And when you come to the south, how many Igbo people have ruled Nigeria? I'm not sure you know. You know. Do you? Do you know how many people that have ruled Nigeria from our land? How many? Abu Yirunsi ruled Nigeria for six months. And he was killed. He was killed. His blood was splitted on, on the altar of one Nigeria, Giros, and Iboma. After him, who again? And my problem is that they mostly use people who doesn't meant well for us to, to discuss about our affairs. You remember when they had their so-called uh, national comfort? You remember? Whom did they send to go and represent, uh, represent uh, Southeast? Who? Omasanda Ikewachuku. Omasanda Ikewachuku is whom they sent. I want you to use your Google to Google Omasanda Ikewachuku. Go and check his history, his biography. His mother is from the north, from Fulani. And this man fought against Biafra. He fought in support of one Nigeria during the war against Biafra. Are you, aware, are you aware of this? So tell me, somebody that fought against Biafra, going to negotiate about things that is going to favor Biafra, how possible do you think it can be? Can somebody that fought against the establishment of a nation that is going to give us everything we want, negotiate in favor of that nation, in the same country. Can such transformation have happened? Some of you do not know. But I'm telling you now. The only voice that speaks for Ndibo in truth and honesty is that of Mazin Namdekani. The only voice That speaks from Dibo. 
is Mazen Namdekan and IPO. Apart from that, if anybody, if anyone else is telling you that uh, this person is nobody. And in extension, I want to appreciate Mazi Hakot Baribe for standing up, a lone voice, standing up to condemn this their ministry of uh, is it ministry of livestock or cattle or and the uh, or coco. When you look at the number, when you look at the at the land mass in the so-called country, you notice that they say that seventy-two percent of the land mass in Nigeria belongs to the north. So in nearby river is actually telling them to take that their livestock to Sambisa Forest, where they have the biggest land ever. They shouldn't come to southeast. So I, I will commend him because he's a good man. In nearby is a good man. The first person that actually signed for Mazen Nam the Bear in 2017, the first uh, 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 senator that signed with cash of 100 million deposited. So today, those of you who doesn't like IPOB, those of you who doesn't want Mazen Nam the you, are run, you have run away from your community. You are not in your village again. Because they created the bubago to use it and be killing you people one after the other. If you talk, you go down. So you better don't speak. The bubago that see people on the road, people that are passing, young, boy that, young men that are passing, they open fire and begin to shoot and kill them. Is that a security outfit? It's not. The only savior you have is Mazen Nam Dekano. The only savior you have is IPOB. The only savior you have is Biafra Restoration. Take Biafra Restoration out. You will forever remain a nobody in this Nigeria. Take IPOB out. By now your land would, would have been decimated because the enemy planned to invade your land seriously. But Mazin Namikano said no, that such will not happen. IPOB said no, that such will not happen. And you are not appreciating us. You are not. Protest, 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 protest. Who is protesting against who? Do you know that as an Igbo man, once you come out to protest, that is to say that you are you are okay with the country. You want the country to change. A country that has not changed since 100 years of, create, of, of being created is going to change now. A country that even the, their governors, their minister, they knew that Nigeria is not supposed to be what. Did you listen to Amechi, to Rotimi Amechi, what he said? Rotimi Amechi is trying to let you people know that Nigeria can never be good. That the people you vote into power, all those, they only care about them and their families. They don't care about you. But I promise you one thing. You will not appreciate us now. But a day is coming when you will look up, look down, look back, look front and say, Oh, thank God for IPOB. Thank God for Mazen and the Kano. Because they are the only people that meant well for you. They are the only people that are doing something that will change your life for good. You see IPOB, you see Mazen Namdekano, this movement you see is the reason why Nigeria have not caught fire. Because when these people move to do something, they will remember, oh, when they are in Hana Cho now, and not because of this, their move, can they are in Hana Cho now. The people that send them, tell them, wait, wait, come down, come down, come down. Let us see how, how we're going to do it. And that is why I beat my chest always to tell them that Mazin Namdekano is untouchable. That nobody, I repeat, nobody can touch Mazin Namdekano. The worst you can do is holding him against his will. Which the international community is already talking about. 
But you cannot stop Mazin Namdekano from restoring Biafra. What we are asking is for you to give us date for referendum. We only need to, 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 to be allowed to exercise our, our rights for self-determination. What do you want? Do you want, want war? No. Are we clamoring for war? No. Do we call for war? No. What do we call for? Self-determination, which is enshrined in the United Nations Nation, Nation Charter, even in Nigeria Constitution. Allow us to vote to be in Nigeria or not to be in Nigeria. Simple. Because there's no amount of protest that will change Nigeria. If you like protest from now to one million years, Nigeria will, will keep getting worse. Somebody just wrote that pound is 1,900 to Naira. Dollar is 1,000 uh, 500 and let's say 1,600 to Naira. Ghana City is bigger than Naira. Just today, I saw one man, they call Okuma uh, Mama. He was playing, he, he's a musician. He was talking about when he went to play in Ghana. That after he played finish, they gave him Ghana must go. Is it two or three Ghana must go of money? He brought it home and lodged in a rental hotel, in a Concord hotel, with the hope that he had money. But at the end of the day, when they changed the money, well, did you say it's uh, 200 naira or 2,000 naira? I forgot how much you mentioned. But today, full loaded naira in Ghana must go is going to be a small change that you can hold in Ghana. Ghana have gone home to transform their, their country. But in those days in here, they full here. And Nigeria will say, Ghana must go, Ghana must go, Ghana must go. They changed them away. In 1980, I think 1983, during during uh, uh, um, Buhari regime, as a military man, you don't know. Let me be reminding you of these things that you forgot. That it was during Buhari that they chased Ghana out of Nigeria, saying that, that Ghana must go. Ghana must go. Eighty three in Kenya, what? And let me shock you. Do you know that that during that nineteen eighty three, that a, 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 a room, a room. House rent costs only about 250 naira. 250 naira is the rent for a room. That's at that time. Do you know how much bread is sold? One kobo. That's at then. 1983. How did you people get here? Because you are not one. They are stealing you people dry. I also see an update that says that the Central Bank of Nigeria have directed all banks. I don't know if it's a rumor, but I read about it on the internet anyways, that any dormant account, any account that is not operational for a, a, a period of time, the money should be transferred into the APES bank account. Are you listening to me? That is, Nigeria is now looking for money in the pocket of their individuals, of their citizens. But they can go to China and borrow money to use it and build house of billions for vice president. Do you know what they are doing? They keep padding every budget. Every budget in Nigeria is padded. Every budget from, from local government budget to, to federal constituencies. A project that will cost $10,000, they will tell you that it's $10 million. That is it. So tell me, how can such country survive? You go and borrow money to use it and build a house for, for, for a governor, for, for, for a vice president. You went and borrow money and use it to buy SUVs and dash uh, 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 legislatures. Buy SUVs and dash it to, to kings because they want them to, to, to support you. You buy SUV, SUV you, you borrow money to buy SUVs and, 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 and share it among lawmakers. If lawmakers has been bribed, who is going to stand up for common man like me and you? And you tell me that such country can change.
common 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 uh, what they call it uh, minimum wage. Labour is fighting now to the nail that Nigeria should raise minimum wage of Nigerians. How much are they even asking? Is it four hundred and something thousand or so? The Nigerian government is saying no that they cannot pay it. Oh yeah, bring down the the salary of ministers. Bring down the salary of uh, uh, legislators. Oh yeah, now let senators begin to earn five hundred thousand. Let there be no wardrobe allowance, kitchen allowance, toilet allowance, toothpick allowance, cigarette allowance for the legislator. Let remove all those things. Let everybody be on equal or, or, or close range of, 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 of salary. They cannot do it. Do you know why? Because Nigeria was not built on a foundation, on a fruitful foundation. It is like a jungle. Where the bigger white animals are eating the smaller ones to get fat. That is what is happening. The only hope you have is Biafra restoration. Biafra restoration is going to reset the, the, the brain of an average Hausa man, reset the brain of an average Yoruba man, reset the brain of an average black man. Because if Biafra is restored, give us five years. Oh. Give us five years. Have you said, Nani? Five years. Have you said? Only five years. I, don't, I didn't say 50 years. I said five years only. The world will be coming to tremble for Biafra. And the, let me shock you the more. That five years is not going to be based on the oil money. Because crude oil is not the is not the most valuable treasury that God gave to us. The most valuable treasury that was given to us is our brain. That is why an evil man produced Z600 called Ezekiel Isuok. The first indigenous car made in the in the whole black race was created by by and Iboma, Ezekiel Isok. Z600, as I'm talking to you now, top, tap it on Gogo. Who killed that vision and that aspiration? It is the, the North during Abacha regime. They went to the man's factory and took away the prototype. Don't you know? They destroyed everything and steal the prototype. Are you listening to me? Why? Because now we're nasty. They hated you people with passion. They don't want you to flourish. They don't want you to explore. They don't want you to shine. There is no amount of unification or peace that you can make in Nigeria that will allow them to see an Igbo man prosper. But go so kind. Innocent Chukuma brought it back. Today, Innocent Chukuma is producing cars, IBM. Not assembling. If you ask the enemies of Indibu, they say, oh, he's not producing any car. He's assembling. Go and check. 79 to 80% of every product that they use to manufacture IBM is done right in Newey. Yes. If 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 innocent happened to be a Fulani or Hausa man or even a Yoruba man, Nigeria would ban importation of foreign cars. They will put it as the law that every indigenous person must patronize indigenous made car known as innocent. Nigeria government can actually do what they call uh, they can actually do what is called subsidize. They can place subsidy on it to make it affordable for people of the so-called Nigeria to buy. Yes. 
But they cannot do it. They cannot. Because he's an evil man. They are against the progress of evils. And that is why we need Biafra. If you are a Yoruba man and you are watching this program, and you are asking yourself, why did Ibo want to go? By the time you are done listening to me, go and listen again and see more than one million reasons why their friends want to go. An Ibo man produced an automobile, a car. A full animal killed the dream. Destroyed the prototype. Took it away. Scattered the, the factory. This is something that when the white people see the potential in you to produce such thing, they will, uh, they will bring you close to them. They will, they will enhance it. They will put money into it. They will, they will, they will, they will advertise it, support it, sponsor it, make it go viral. The world will be coming to buy those, that, those products. Now, let me tell you how wicked Nigeria is to live. After the Biafra war, Nigeria government removed a certain course in the in University of Nigeria, Soka. Are you aware? If you know that course, put it on the on the comment section. Let me know if I still have those who are who listens to Mazen and who listen to, 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 to Radio Biafra, who also do research. There's a, there's, a, there's a course that was removed from the, the sworn that that course can never be practiced in, 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 in the University of Nigeria so, or any university again. Do you know that that course will actually have put Nigeria in a higher level in terms of productivity, in terms of creativity, in terms of technological wise? That course that they stopped Nigeria is not supposed to be going to buy any ammunition from China, from America, from Russia, from anywhere. If that course was not banned. Because that course is what gave our people, the Biafra soldiers, head on over them. It gave them head over, over the Nigeria government. Because with that course, they were able to produce all the things that we use to fight and defend Biafra land. Do you understand what I mean? But they have deleted that course. They don't want anybody to study it again. They, want, they don't want it to be taught. If that course actually is accepted and the people who taught those course that are still alive after the war was reinvented. And some of the prototype of all those things they produced, if Nigeria is indeed a country that will succeed, they would have brought it back. They will bring those people, say, this thing that you people did during the war, I want you people to teach it to us. Let us learn it. From there, they'll be producing ammunition. You don't need to go and be buying gun, buying bullet, buying this, buying that from any country, even up to the to the to the uh, 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 to the APC, ammo personal carriers. It will be produced in Nigeria, and if Nigeria put money, Nigeria government put money into it, they will produce the one that even other countries can come and buy. Are you aware that Innocent is producing? Helicopters, uh, uh, spare parts for Nigeria military. Are you aware? For Air Force, are you aware? You are not aware. <laughs> I don't want to go far. The emophobia is the problem of the North and the West. You know, people are afraid of Ndimo, what we can produce, what we can do. And the West have hand in it because they say they don't want another Japan in Africa. But guess what? Afo Bayeri Baasa, the Afra will be restored. Afo Bayeri Baasa, Ndibo will shine. Afo Bayeri Baasa, we are going to excel. 
We are going to produce things that the world will see and they will shock. Take example. Professor Barton Natch. Professor Barton Natch is the reason why part of other state is having steady power supply today. Because the governor of Abia State saw that he knows what he read in the university. He knows he can produce, he can give us generate power. That is his own expertise. And he is doing well there. He brought him. Say, how do we do this thing? Today, part of Abia State are having 24 hour, hour supply. Because an evil man ideology is implemented. But those who hate the Igbos, they are wallowing in ignorance. They are warming up to, up to come and protest to the, uh, uh, this month ending. That is why Igbo people don't need to come and fight to protest for anything. Nigeria is dead. Nigeria and Wala. If you hear how many, how much that Nigeria government is owing Chinese, Chinese uh, 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 contract. You, you, you will shout. Then ask yourself, what happened to Abacha Ruth? What about all the money that we are recovered from Abacha, both in Switzerland and everywhere? What happened to those money? Ask yourself this question and answer yourself. They, they recovered the looting and they looted it again. They looted the money. They recovered it and they, they stole it again and shared it among themselves. Taking it to China, taking it to America, taking it to Dubai, taking it to England. And those people where they're taking those money to are using those money to beautify and create job opportunities for their citizens. But here, the citizens are now crying of ordinary to eat food. That is how they are manipulating you people. They are manipulating you people. Look at Dangote. One person is giving license to import sugar, one person to uh, license to import uh, salt, one person license to import cement, one person, one person who, then your brother, who is into the business also, called Ibeto, was sent to prison. His company was stopped. His, his business was stopped. When last did you see Ibeto cement? I oh God. Can we free beta cement last outside? Why I am going in history, bringing all these things forth, telling you is because this protest that you see they are planning, we should not participate in it. As long as it's going when they, that day they will do that protest, because that is another opportunity of looting our 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 our, our products. Breaking and taking our, our belongings. Each time there's protest in Nigeria, you will see criminals that are hungry will use that opportunity to break into Igbo people's shop and cut away everything that they, they see there. In fact, any market, even Igbo, which no no gate, which any protest, you people should be eating. If it is possible, let all the market where Igbo people are, are staying, if you can share this program to all the group where they can get it, that very day, let them declare it a holiday, the day of enjoyment. That very day, let them do your and then also go and protest. That is what you people should do. Nde keno na aspanda, une kwechi na gate. Si eni ne eri, oya bana ne eri ni. Yota, nde keno na 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 keno na baya na ikeja computer village. Eche, e so e nationwide. Why in the house and the urban things? Obu e ni baya ni wa protest, we are protesting. Nde bana ne eri oli. It will give them a signal. It will give them a sign that these people are different. We are not one. That in the midst of, of, of need, these people can survive. And as it stands today, 
the only people that can survive this, you see this hardship in Nigeria today, is the Igbos. Thank Chuko Kikabiyama that we love ourselves. Forget about people who say Igbo no love themselves. We love ourselves. If I pick my phone right now, live on this program now, I'll admit you a couple on. Look at my the people that are watching me now. Say, please, my dear sister or my dear brother, I need 50,000 naira now. I'm hungry. I never chop. I need, in fact, I need to buy one bag of rice. If I do it on this program, right now, 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 the hall, I swear to God, before I finish this program, somebody will send me money. And after they will say that, he will hate themselves, he will not like themselves, he will this, he will that. Pick him, Ashashi, we love ourselves. If we don't like ourselves, there are people I have never met in my life in this struggle. I never met them in my life in this struggle, but I have benefited from them. Excuse me. Sorry for that interruption. That is to tell you, that is to show you how we love each other. People I don't know, people I have never seen, because of this struggle, I know them. This cap you see me putting on now was bought for me by somebody I don't know. Up to now, I haven't seen the person with my eyes. He bought it and sent it to me. I have some shoes I'm wearing that somebody bought and sent to me. And after they say we don't love ourselves, we love ourselves. Any, anybody that uses that language is an enemy of Ndibo. It's an enemy of Ndibo. So there is nothing they can do to, bring, to break us. They can only delay us, but they cannot stop our destiny. They cannot stop us from shining. That is the truth. So I'm going to open my line because I want to answer call. But before I do that, I want to remind you of one thing. Mazin Nandekano is in the hand of the enemy today because he is an Igbo man. Mazin Nandekano is in the hand of DSS today because he is not a Yoruba man, because he's not an Hausa man. The example is numerous. The evidence is numerous. Where is Igbo? Igbo is free. For over one year now, Igbo is free. Where is Shawore? Shawore is free. Because they are Yorubas. But an Igbo man, Nyamere. Because Igbo man, Nyamere. People who are not worthy to live. People who they are seen as uh, as evil. Why we are the best among among the among evil. We are the people that are bringing development into their communities, to their villages, to their states. We are the people that are even practicing the so the, the, the so called one Nigeria. We are the people that are practicing it. Yes, it is only the Igbo that can go to Yoruba land and buy land and build a factory and employ Yoruba people. It is only the Igbo that can go to the north and buy land and build companies and employ Hausa people. How many factories of Yoruba, of, of Dangote is in, in, is in Anib? How many companies of Tedola is in Anib? How many companies of uh, Lake Alakija is in Anib? I'm asking you. And Majumu. As I'm talking to you right now, Obi Kubana. Obi Kubana have business in Abuja. After the Nubu have business in Abuja. Emekofo, no leave it. Have business in Abuja. Rocha Sokorocha have business in Mena. These businesses employ people that are from there. And we go there, we buy house, we buy house, we build a house. 
I better than Lagos. I go. I we buy a, a swamp. But you know, law you know, Billy. Actually, Nadia could say to point your brother. Why can't you stand up and support this movement for once? Why can't you stand up to ask for the freedom of Mazen and the Kano? A man who has committed no crime. A man whose only crime is that he's asking for the freedom of his own people through referendum. Through referendum. Nigeria is not for me and you as a Biafra. We only need Biafra to survive, to, to, to live as human beings. If not, forget it. Look at the second Niger bridge that they built. They are going on top of that the second Niger bridge now. Stealing the 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 the, 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 the aluminium uh, 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 what they call it aluminium um, uh, um, plate that is on the ground. The second Niger bridge they just built not up to one year or two years. And the the thing is as heavy as is is something that you cannot move without crane. 20 people cannot lift it up, but somebody have come to remove it. Tell me, how many people have gone to Ted Mellon Bridge and steal those kind of materials? How many people have gone to any bridge in Yoruba land or in, in Abuja to steal such thing? But it's happening in Igbo land. They want to sabotage it. Not they want to. They have already started sabotaging it. And don't forget that they built uh, 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 what they call it? This in there. They build them um, target there, and because of the <laughs> because of the 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 the, uh, the exposition of that target by Mazin Namdekan on Radio Biafra, I think it has not started functioning. They have not started collecting money from Igbo people to pay for the bridge. They haven't. If they have, I don't know. Igbo me pay na you open your eyes, open your eyes. Maranda, the only, the only hope in one way is only this movement. Imagine that. So, Mazin Namdekano is in the hand of the enemy because he's an evil man. And we all need to stand up to ask for his freedom. Because without Mazin Namdekano, Freedom. We are not all free. They knew that they are holding all of us. They have realized that the person they are holding is not just Mazenamikan, but all the indigenous people of Biafra who are only asking for their freedom. They are the only people that they are holding. And we cannot keep quiet. We shall continue to, to fight. We shall continue to struggle. Until Biafra is restored. Oye Bagido, so Bagido, so Bagido, so sitting in Koba, Trabatanika, Gunia, is where you kiss Chakuiki join, you cannot run this in the day, Mesine Ban also. The boss, a man, you are not meant for, for it in, from beginning. You are not. You are not meant for it from beginning. So, the line to call, the number to call, you already know it and it's there. Plus four nine one five two one four two nine two six three eight on WhatsApp only. And the question I'm asking for to those of you that want to call is do you think that Ndib was supposed to join this protest or not? What everything I said here is my own personal opinion. I'm not instigating it on you. But what is your own opinion? Should Ndibo join this protest that they are planning? When an Igbo man won the election, he was not allowed to rule. And there was no protest. Now, the person that they are allowed to rule is have messed the whole country. And things is not working the way it should. And the people that voted him now want to protest. Those who didn't vote him, those that were robbed of their mandate, are they supposed to come and 
protest, to join the protest. The number to call is there already. And I'm expecting your call. My name remember as well as the Chukubi came. I go be from Kempun and I be a friend of the one in the Malaysia over Kazobi. Mazu soja made you different. Pick up your phone to call. To make your own contribution. Your own impact is important. And I am using this opportunity also to beg the indigenous people of Biafra leadership, the DOS. The leadership of IPUB, I think it is important that there is a declaration very open declaration that IPOB are not interested in this proposed uh, protest. It is about Nigeria. We are not interested. What we want is the release of Mazin Namdekano. What we want is the freedom of Biafra. Let them give us our referendum dates. Because at the end of the day, if they start this protest and hoodlums got into it and begin to destroy things, the next thing they will say it is like, they have already sent one Bob Risky to start saying that it is IPOB that is sponsoring it. They have sent them. They have paid some individuals to start saying, and I then the planner, and then the planner, and then they are the one who, are, who, who will come out that very day to protest. So it is better with their wisdom, the wisdom of, of the leadership of this movement, to let the world know that we are not interested in this so-called protest and we are not participating. That very day, let every Biafra market, let their their men, let the plan before them. Cook is what they need. Put them on the sound for the Namubia and Namubia. Then I go come to another Namu hot drink and a hot Namu hot drink. I know one angry. Then a protest can a protest. I want him angry. This is what should happen that very day. Therefore, I need to. I want to see you. Oh, come on. I have a caller on the line. I have a caller on the line. Uh, caller. I have a caller on the line. I think I have a caller. Yes. Caller, welcome to the program. I see the host. Hello. Welcome to the program, Mazi. Uh, good evening, Mazi. I see the host. I saw the talk. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.
and like you said, na kada ate si si ofe onya buna na lono mba. Onya buna aka gende te ondre bo di aga di adisnes. That is my own opinion. We don't. Onya chay pota na street in every place. Nya na ona street protest wa. And then then I got all the school, everything, government officials should go their their business way. Because we have no interest. And then we hear about this I know this protest. The only protest in the hood who protest for a friend of or protest for the release of mass in America. If people cannot go and this protest matter unconditional release of mass in America and the referendum. Yes, and there's nothing like a betterment of Nigeria again. So, they could check who won in it. And the Indian, I like the Calababo Christi. Really, that thing. Now, again, the many people are buying into it, you know, in the protest. There is one video I come up by one a man, one of the North leaders. Would you allow some of the people to say, Nandi, go, mama, we're joining a protest. Maka, they're putting on their side. Maha. Lot and people. Maybe you see us in the banana, but I am very angry. That is which is their this protest. In for that they are planning, the protest the northern are planning is totally different from the one in the west, in the northern and northern are planning. The northerners are planning for number one target is that a livestock movement for their cow and the, their Islamic religion. But they are the ages near non. They are protest, but in the Mali, with the Indian Mali, they not are fully in support. So in other ways, like you just said, uh, the leadership should do something. But the leadership have already released a press release. I think uh, two or three days ago, it has been very clear that Nigeria has nothing to do. Okay, I shared. I, think, I, yes, I think I shared. I shared. I shared it, so but I didn't. Man. I didn't go through it. I shared okay. it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay, go that one. And Sitina Samuel have also say something. Right to it. See, nothing happened, and then I have to join in. Now there are protests. I did that on their own terrain, which means they are there. You are the one. You born in the United States. Eight decades there. Don't say you're an IBU member, can say the dead lawyer or anything. We have no hand on that, and the lawyer can say the lawyer. A papa no gave it. Just call your family for treatment. This is now you're an IBU member, and you have an injury, they abandon you. The question is, maybe you have sustained any injury. Who sends you? Do you go for IBU oppression? Did IBU send you? Do you take permission from them? Do they authorize it? So when you ask all these things, the man is the academic hotel on where you so the protest, I think, like you rightfully say, if they cannot protest the moment they read the election to show that Nahad Lok, Naha and the Lord that in herself, that they, they follow the right, not their right to protest their vote, as it is their right to vote. Why didn't they protest at that moment to ensure that Napito be Regain his mandate, but they never did it because no one knew. Although not people be with Tinubu wearing the other selection, believe you me, also rock will not contain people be, and in people we never live in Yoruba land. But now it I know because we are the only people practicing one Nigeria. The rest are the regions and have practice one Nigeria. The other are practicing to do the one and the Yoruba and the other one. So some people are looking at it. No matter how much time we take, we are going to take it. 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 And before we take it, we are going to take it. Okay, we are going to take it. We are going to take it. Because they are driving. They don't care. 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 So, my name is Oni Igo. Headquarters. Because I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. That's correct. Then can we say in a pass? The protest should be those who vote Tinubu. Those like one pastor that he is not a bastard to, to vote for Igbo man instead of voting for Tinubu. So will an Igbo man become a bastard to go and protest for the same people that voted them? Okay. So it is time for our people to use their brain. We are one. We are one. We need to stand.
man with one voice. Those are strategies. The same day go protest for Elsa's protest. How can only make prison when we talk? DJ switch can a few cast iron from one country to the other. Macanoni. But in this Macanoni joint protest, on a few cast iron, get a pathology at Africa in Nigeria. But DJ switch, which is an evil, the evil is who participated in the Elsa's protest. Have been declared wanted by the uh, government. But uh, Mr. McLean has not been declared wanted. And uh, other Yoruba people that participated in the NSAS protest, even last year, if I'm not mistaken, they celebrated the NSAS protest. They still went there. But the only one who joined, they are still in prison. Why some of them are still seeking asylum because Nigeria is looking for them? So, what is motivating them to come out again, to go in prison and to die? 95% of the people like who are that census protest, and that's why that is the reason I did not hear no IPUB protest because the people pass, participated uh, heavily against the Egyptians, the Biafans. So, like in the when I was seeing how many times he hear the MLA where he said, What's the gun in case? Man in case, what? The one in case of, I was in Basel and the Mafia was in the fight because he might. Some people say that the experience is best teacher, but for I say observation is best teacher. I don't need to experience it. Once I see you passing through it, with observing what you are passing through, I will, I will, I will, I will correct myself and uh, uh, know how to reset the diet. So the protest, Ndibo, get on it, get on it. Obu Ndibo got to that protest. I must come out and the time. I saw happen. Don't go, wait. Don't go. You you have spoken well. Okay. People of Uma. Now, um, the area I want to clear first is Uma Iabu opinion on Kamu Kogu or Kuan Kiki. You got to go. And then I go. Then I go to get this. Also, go ahead. You got to go. Now, um, when I suggested that na how could sleep after that very day? He said if you don't shop, I'm going to marry him. Let me finish shop. But because, Abu na. The protest now nah, I can be labor. Then yeah. Labor will announce that Nahana team a protest. Na new do haka mado pota mepe shop. So you put a mepe shop, you have a, you have gone against them. The hoodrums can attack you, you know, steal from you. But obon obo labor ne mere no a certain group of individuals na plan near. Yeah. Eh? You see keep a shop, mepe shop again. How to work? How may infiltrate? Because Nandi Ibo, Ekoho support, they can still plan and bring some individuals. They got the other one a shop, Mado Zuri. So come on a shop, okay? But you shop, okay? I watch you watch your shop in only you shop, guy. But as but to be jiri jiri anaka. Oya maya bubre. But you don't know a shop, guy. Oh, that's the Beriaka. You want to go? This is my own opinion. I believe Nandi Ibo. How many have to see men? Man, I want to see. No, I want to see. No, see me pay shop. I me pay. 
the money to turn, what we a shop, more than making a stop, and the shop will be open. You got to go, when I shop, will be closed. Okay, then it's difficult to attack you, open your shop, break your shop, and you might go cut away anything. That is the, the area I'm looking at it. You got to go, that is one. Then, also, they can one near where Bronam Oko and Nina Daba, Mana Ungu Fiango about our people. DOS in Kugo, Edego, Edego, Edegozi about this issue. Mm -hmm. The Edegozi, they have written something about this issue. That is correct. But don't worry, follow me. You could solve on a gap at a main program of a good few minutes. I can make a matter now. Grigribu Gweze. You go bike. I chebo to am the me program I keta new could stay. Gumwa and make wea. Be a fracha de milk wea. Mada but you machu milk wea. Mada chalugi milk wea. Nay ne broadcast na social media e milk wea. E we tosa wea. Tosa wea. Tosa wea. Do you believe that no ya kagafa? Kalya ni kum na just ka he kuna really be afra. Because na social media ka information na gazi more faster. O bro yoba nego enege aru be but on your on social media, I don't know whether you are getting my point now. So I think and that uh, I think that all of us should, as a matter of fact, topic you only go to retreat. You go to You this particular this particular thing because all the very very important. So all that more far. Okay. You share WhatsApp. You share WhatsApp. different different people. You go for you. yeah. Asia, that this is my program, Keta. I saw that Facebook is is, uh, is um, interrupting it. But at the end of the program, I will see the number of people that watch and the number of people that share. Then at the end of the month, they notice now, they notice now, model as about model 1.9 million, 2 million watching him, watching my, my platform, watching him the post. Gassi. So it is going far. You can imagine one point seven million, do one way, two point seven million, or five million on a gap. Who can fly in the when we get few no so so we tell me now in the near Facebook limit the number of people now again if you know the more in the Monday people are listening the message is going on a go far so that is what I want to say so thank you very very much for your contribution and I'm going to. Anyway, that is to say. Levels that, and allocation. They agree on the seventy thousand minimum wages, which is <laughs> which cannot buy one bag of rice. Okay, that is to tell you. That is to tell you the kind of the kind of obodo. I can remember when I was in India. Chukwu kuku na kanguru baaji. Anyway, and that is more than our people to stay because they say only a family organized can be free. They are not. They are not the high level leadership that you can rely on. That you will say yes, this is the leader. They cannot betray. Then people will betray you on the first day. Once they show, they will get betrayed. So yes, that's correct. the more reason our people need to step aside and watch them. How much money is this good resource? Is the win win. How much money is your resource? Will they get money? Will they get no money? Then they can't. Will they get no idea? Then then. So my brother, you are doing great. But uh, like you don't see.